morning, good morning. This week, we, uh, this week hey. at St. Oh, oh, hey, hey, Trish. Hey, uh, you guys know Trish? Is our friend Trish? Hey, guys. John, did I see you at Taco Bell yesterday? Of, of course. I mean, Taco Bell, it was probably me. <laughs> okay, cool, because I was driving by, and I was like, wait a second. Is that John enjoying a Baja Blast? Oh, the guy had a Baja <laughs> Blast? Yes, it was definitely me then, yes. Wait, you know what I haven't done in a long time? What, what? Play hide and seek. Do you want to play? Yes, yes, definitely. Uh -huh. can, can I hide and you seek? Okay. Achoo! I'm sorry. I sneeze when I get excited. Ooh. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. So where, where is John? Where is John? I'm here. I'm right here, Trish. Trish, I'm, I'm right here. I'm, I was right over there. Uh, okay. Cool. You know the point of the game is for you to stay hidden. Okay, right. Right? Okay, yeah, yeah, right, right, okay, yeah, okay, sorry, okay, sorry. Cool. Let's, let's do it again, sorry again. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where could John be? Where could John be? Trish, I'm, I'm over here. Trish, I'm here. I'm right John, here, Trish. you've Trish. got to stop popping out. What do you mean? I'm, I'm sorry, Trish. It's just, whenever you hear you say, where is John? I'm just like, I, I'm right here, Trish. I want to be honest with you, right? Yeah, I know, John. But these are the moments where we need to have self-control. I don't think I'm very good at that. I don't think you are either. What is self-control anyways? <laughs> well, self-control is, well, the ability to control yourself. Specifically, it's like the ability to control your emotions or desires and to control what you do. Okay, so it's like if I don't want to do something, it's the ability to make myself not do it? Yeah, basically. And like in our lives, we want to say no to the things that God tells us are bad for us. Uh. And self-control is the ability to actually say no. But like, why do we need to be self-controlled? Oh, great question. In the Bible, Proverbs 25, 28, it says, without self-control, we are like a city with broken walls. Uh. Back in those days, walls were the only thing that protected a city. Mm. So like a city without walls was super open to bad things coming into its borders. Uh, okay, but like, I don't live in a city with walls that protect it, um, so why does self-control matter to me? Even better question. <laughs> Basically, there are a lot of times where we know we shouldn't do something, but we do it anyways, right? That's true. Like, when I get mad at my mom, or just not when I kept popping out of my hiding spots. Right. We all have things we do that we wish we didn't. Uh, and growing self-control is what lets us stop doing those things. And think about Jesus. He never did any sins. He had the best control. I see. There are a lot of things that I, uh, I wish I wouldn't do anymore. I guess I do want to grow in self-control. Woo! Achoo! Ooh, sorry. I'm just excited by your learning. Oh, bless you. Can we get back to hide and seek now? Yeah, let's do it. And this time, when I go looking for you, you're not going to tell me where you are, right? I will not. I will not. I'm going to stay hidden. I'm going to be so self-controlled that you'll never find me again. Okay, close your eyes. I'm going to go hide. Ready, ready. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where's John? John? Hmm. John? Hmm. I really don't see him. John? John, I give up. I really don't see you. Oh, darn. Well, he is self-controlled now. He's too good. I'll never be able to find him. I'm driving here. I'm driving here. <laughs> Again. John, where are you? I can't find you for real. John? Oh no. How am I ever gonna find Mr. John? Ooh, I know. I need a bounty hunter. Did someone say they need a bounty hunter? <laughs> Hello. Oh, John, I found you. No, ma'am, I am not John. I am his long lost identical twin, Lon. You said your name was Lon? Yes, L-A-W-N, Lon. <laughs> okay, guess. <laughs> Did you say you can't find my brother John? Yeah, do you know where he is? Were you playing hide and seek? Yeah. Oh, see, I see. He was always too good at that game. He would stay hidden forever and we could not find him. Half of our childhood, I didn't see him because he was hidden. Oh, no. I shouldn't have asked him to play. The other half of our childhood, 
He was a Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. With a Baja Blast? Yes, with a Baja Blast. Every time, every time. <laughs> but there was always one way to get him to come out of hiding. To make him dance. How do we do that? Well, luckily for you, I brought my guitar. A good bounty hunter always keeps a guitar. If I can play a beautiful song, I know that I can get John to come out and dance, and he will, he will come out of his hiding spot. OK, ready, let's go. La la la, la 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 la. Uh, well, that was great. <sighs> that was no good, wasn't it? Well, well, I think all you need is a little self-control in your playing. Self-control, what do you mean? Well, it seems like you were just kind of like rah, 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 doing whatever and playing whatever. But if you were a little bit more self-controlled, I think it'd be better. You know, Lon? Lon, L-A-W-N, Lon. <laughs> I was just talking to your twin, John, about self-control, too. Oh, no way. I've been wondering some things about how I can become more self-controlled. My self-control is terrible. I can never strum the guitar in a controlled way. I just fly off the handle. <laughs> OK, well, I can give you some tips. Are you going to give me the tips? Yes, I just really like blinking. Oh. <laughs> so there's three ways that we can grow in self-control. We can control our feelings, our actions, and our words. So I guess we can start with our feelings. OK, cool. So check it. If you don't use self-control on your emotions, what happens? You become like a volcano. You become like a what? A volcano, I tell you. Because people around you in your life never know when you're going to explode, you know? Or if you have self-control in your emotional expression, you become like a nice, quiet, flowing river. Streams are nice, right? I mean, yes. When I'm by a stream, I feel relaxed because there's no worries, because I don't think it's going to change or it's going to overflow at all. Exactly. When we are peaceful streams of emotion, people around us don't need to be scared of us popping up. I see. And like, if I was a peaceful river, my excitement for guitar would not make me get all carried away, and my emotions wouldn't make me play like a crazy person, correct? Precisely good, doctor. OK, well, are we allowed to feel any feelings? Or does God want us to be like emotionally uh, desolate automatons? Ooh. Hmm. Well, we can totally feel emotions. Hmm. Check this out in the Bible. In Ephesians 4, 26 to 27, it says, do not let the sun go down while you are still angry, and don't give the devil a foothold. Dang, that is intense. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry, so I can never be angry then? Well, no, actually, See, it doesn't say never be angry. It says when you're angry, don't sin. OK, I see. So like, you can be angry and not sin. I can feel angry, but do no sins. Huh. So is the goal to just keep my feelings bottled up forever, and then I die? Also no, but good thought. Hmm. So where do your emotions go if you don't act on them? You give them to God. Hmm. That's why we pray. I've heard someone say that we should let out all of our emotions to God when we pray. Really? Yep. So if someone is being annoying to us earlier in the day, like popping out of hiding spots like your twin brother, so then we can pray at night. We can get mad about it and just tell God how we're feeling honestly. And if we keep praying, he'll give us the peace like the river and take that anger from us. Huh. Wow. OK. Like, God is turning the volcano into a nice stream. So if the first way to be self-controlled was by controlling our feelings, what is the second way? Right, thanks. The second way is through our actions. This is kind of like what we were talking about. Like, you can feel something, but don't do it, you know? It's a domino effect, mm. where if our emotions are in God's hands, then our actions will naturally follow being self-controlled. Right. But does the Bible talk about this? Oh, yeah, totally. Uh. In Ecclesiastes 7, 9, it says, do not be quickly provoked in your spirit, for anger resides in the lap. Do not be quickly provoked in your spirit. Huh. So like, if I feel mad, I shouldn't be fast to act mad. Yeah. Honestly, like, whenever you're feeling mad, you can just pause and think, are my actions like an out of control volcano? Or nice flowing river. Mm, OK. So like, when I'm waiting in a super long line, and I want to get mad, I can just think, am I a volcano or a river? And when I want the new switch, or my brother is making me feel mad, I can react like a river, not a volcano? Yeah, 
Yeah, you got it, Lon. Mm. And the reason we can act like a river is because we trust God mm. and just bring our feelings to Him when we pray and ask Him how we should react and what we should do. God is good. I <laughs> too. Sorry, I sneeze when I get excited. Oh, okay, cool. Weird. So, the first way to be self-controlled was through our feelings. And the second way was through our actions. What is the third? Words! Through our words. When we are talking, we can sometimes be like a volcano, but we can have self-control and instead make our words like a nice, soothing stream. Mm, I see. Volcano or stream. This dichotomy is fascinating. And so it's almost like a domino effect from the other two, correct? Like if my feelings are in control and at peace, then my actions will be at peace, and then my words will also be at peace. Yeah. And I, am I going to be like an overflowing, erupting volcano? Or like a nice, peaceful stream? OK, cool. So like, before when I was playing the guitar, I was playing like a volcano. Yeah. Do you want to try playing in a peaceful stream kind of way? And then if you play a really beautiful song, maybe John will dance and come out of his hiding spot. OK, yes, sure. I will try this. Thank you. This should be enough to make John come out of his hiding spot, right? It should be, usually. He usually comes out of his hiding spot when he hears the beautiful music. He's, Brother. He's still not, he's, he's still not coming out of his hiding spot. I'm sorry, Trish. I let you down. I'm a failure of an identical twin. No, Lon, it's okay. No, I must go. Goodbye forever. Good luck finding John. Bye, Lon. Oh, man. John's brother is so silly. So, C3 kids, we still have to find Mr. John. What do you think I should do? Oh, wait, I have one more idea. Oh, man. I'm so glad I have this tasty Taco Bell here. I wish I had someone to share it with. Taco Bell? <laughs> would they share with someone? I'll, 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 I'll share it with you. Oh, sorry. I actually don't have any. But I'll go there with you now. Oh, okay. Well, okay. That, that, that sounds good. That sounds good. Well, good job with the self-control, though. You stayed hidden for, like, a super long time. I couldn't find you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for teaching me so much about self-control. Is there anything that we can teach our friends at C3Kids about self-control as well? Sure. Hey, C3Kids. Let's just remember that the reason we can have self-control is because we have trust in God. We know that God has good things saved up for us. So, even though it might seem more fun to do things our way, we follow him instead using our self-control. Remember Jeremiah 29, 11, God says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Right, and you can remember this week to ask, when you are in a stressful situation, you can pause and you can ask yourself, am I gonna be like a volcano or am I gonna react like a river? Right, let's pray. God, thank you so much that you know us, that you know our hearts, would you seek um, and just cleanse our hearts this week, God. We seek you so that our hearts can be pure and clean and that we can be like streams of flowing river in our friendships, in our relationships, with our parents, with our family and friends, God. So we love you. We thank you that we can have self-control when we trust and have faith in you. We pray this in your name. Amen. Amen. All right, John, let's go to Taco Bell, air Ooh. churros. I love air Ooh. churros. I love quesadillas. Let's She's go a to Taco Bell. She's a goodie to crunch.